Good afternoon. I am uh, Dr. Raj Srinivas. I am a senior consultant, stroke neurologist and neurointerventional surgery. Uh, today I will discuss how uh, screen usage can result in adverse health outcomes. So screen time has become a pandemic now. The number of people using screens have exploded since the time uh, the coronavirus pandemic started. So there was an important study that was done in the United Kingdom which included 40,000 people. So what they found that as the screen time increased, there was an increase in the risk of heart attack, stroke attack and is, as well as cancer. Some of the important messages were that if you use screen for more than two hours, every hour increase in your screen time increases your stroke risk by approximately 20% or so. And if you go beyond six hours, your stroke risk, your heart attack risk significantly increases. So like addiction to any other substance, screen addiction is also a big problem. How does addiction behavior start? In the brain, you have two centers. One center, a center for rationalization, which tells you what is right and wrong. And there's another center, which is the center for reward mechanism. So normally, a behavior that starts off wherein you're not addicted gradually forms an addiction. And that's because the center for reward mechanism takes an overhand over the center for rationalization. Why does screen time result in adverse health outcomes? It's because you're sedentary and your sedentary time increases. There's also been another study looking at blue light emitting devices which also affects your sleep pattern at night. And poor sleep in turn results in increased risk of stroke. So a lot of people, whenever I take this talk, ask me a question. So it's a compulsion for me at work. So what do I do? So for those who ask this question, I give a, an important uh, solution for that. And that is, if you have to work continuously on the screen, you take a break every 20 minutes or so. And this break will be for two minutes to five minutes. And this should be used for a brisk walk or an exercise routine that you will be, uh, that you want to. And the recommended screen time is for, a, uh, for infants and uh, children below two years, they should not be offered the screen at all. Up to 16 years or so, I would say up to one and a half hours a day is reasonable. And for adults, it's just around two hours. So reduce your screen time and reduce your stroke risk. Thank you.